Mr. Harsh Mariwala, past Fusion Fiki, uh, Mr. Sachin Menon, co-chairman of Fiki Stars Group and DFC, Mr. Varun Khanna, indirect tax at Bharati Group, office bearers of Fiki, uh, Mr. S.B. Singh, our former member of the CBC, who is now with us, uh, Fiki, to advise them on tax-related issues. My colleague in the CBIC, Mr. John Joseph, Chief Member Bhagat. My colleague uh, in the BSP Policy Wing, Commissioner Mr. Sanjay Gupta, who is a well-known figure throughout the country. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, most of the things have been briefed in the address by our chairman, Mr. Ramesh. So some of the things may be repetitive in nature, but I have jotted down a few points which uh, I'll uh, share with you. And then we'll have uh, further deliberations in the way of interactive session. We had interactive session here uh, with Fiki recently, maybe last week, I think. Uh, which was very, very fruitful, and uh, we can have interactive session today also. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank members of the PICI who turned up in large number uh, to be present in our uh, uh, celebrations of the GSP Day on 1st. Uh, they turned, turned, uh, turned up uh, in uh, such a large number that uh, there were no Sitting arrangements also, I'm told, for some of the members, my apologies. And uh, maybe next year will be more organized. But anyway, thank you very much for being there and uh, encouraging us in our endeavor to implement GSP. As all of you are aware that we have completed one year of uh, introduction and implementation of the GSP, and with a certain amount of satisfaction, we can say that GSP had stabilized to a great extent. And having said that, we are conscious and we are aware that there are still challenges, but we are all prepared, we are available to take up those challenges and move forward with the support and association and equal participation of all of you. Because trade and industry is very, very important part of this great journey. Without your cooperation, without your support, without your concerns, it would not have been possible to be at where we are today after one year on such a big scale, in such a big and diverse country, we have introduced this great uh, reform in the field of indirect taxation. Some points which I have jotted down, I'll take up one by one, and uh, briefly I'll just mention those points and uh, further we'll have discussion. First of all, <coughs> of course, all of you are aware that uh, this reform and introduction of GSP is a unique thing in context with our country. We are such a big and diverse country. We are 29 states and seven union territories. We had different uh, rates of VAT, different ways of uh, implementing VAT and so many taxes the central government and state governments were there and there was real difficulty for the taxpayer to, to make uh, compliance of all these taxes so to subsume all these taxes 17 taxes and 22 assessments in one tax that is the gst and implement in such a big country in such a diverse condition where some of the states are far advanced and other states are not so advanced and really backward, we can say, challenges of IP and so many other things. So uh, this was a great, uh, this was a big challenge for all of us. But this implementation has shown that our federal structure is very strong. Our roots of our democracy, they are very strong. You are all aware that it required constitutional amendments. Constitutional amendment is not a simple process. 
even if ruling party has a simple majority in Lok Sabha and the state assembly, it is not possible for them to pass the bill because of the constitutional requirements. But everybody was taken on board. States which were ruled by the parties other than the ruling party in the center, they were also taken on board. Consensus was arrived, deliberations were done. And this is the strength of our democracy, our federal system. For the first time in independent India, there is a federal body called GST Council, which is taking vital decisions regarding the implementation, rates, laws and procedures, and other aspects of GST. GST Council is almost the final authority because all the recommendation of the GST Council sooner or later turn into law, and that is implemented throughout the country, then all the states uniformly. So this is the biggest achievement of our country. We can show to the world that we are not only a functioning democracy, we are a very strong democracy and strong federal systems. And all the decisions taken here in our country are taken, taken into consideration the interests and concerns of even the smallest states and union territories. And this is the thing we, which we have shown to the world. No other countries like India in the world, in size, in diversity, and with the maturity and sagacity of our political leaders belonging to all parties, we have shown to the world that we are a great nation and we are quite capable of taking into our hands our destiny and we can go ahead. This is the biggest achievement. This has been shown by proper and successful implementation of the GST and after completion of one year, we can claim this uh, thing with certain amount of authority. Now, what are the advantages of GST? Now coming to the brass tax, coming to the finer points, we can say that the seamless flow of credit between central and state taxes across the country, therefore cascading of taxes has been reduced. Earlier it was not there, you could not have taken credit of that in the central excise or vice versa. This has been reduced, now this has uh, vanished now, and uh, very seamless flow of credit. You can take credit, all the taxes which have been subsumed in the form of GST now. Uh, next is uh, all compliance returns payments are to be made through online mode earlier it was manual it was partly manual it was partly online but now entire thing will be on uh, online we have gst network and uh, it will uh, ensure transparency it will reduce human interference and intervention and provides a one stop solution for indirect tax compliance and having said that, I'm still aware, and we all are aware that there are challenges in IT, but we are addressing, we have uh, different committees to take care of the IT issues, where we are constantly working on uh, improving the IT uh, uh, platform, so that the difficulties faced by the taxpayers can be minimized and ultimately abolished. The other important point is, free movement of goods across the country. We are all aware that it was really a Herculean task to send the goods from one destination to other destination in our country, crossing several state borders. Now, crossing borders was a Herculean task. You know, trucks used to be in line for uh, miles together. There used to be hold up for, for a few hours to say 36 and 48 hours. There used to be extra expenditure. And it was really a nightmare to cross one border to enter into one state from other state. And uh, with the introduction of GST, all these check posts have vanished. Uh, the other day I was in Guwahati for an open house meeting 
and after that we have interaction with some of the transporters. They were telling that uh, it used to take 15 days for one truck from Delhi to Guwahati, and expenditure which used to be given in the way of cash to the driver was about 20,000 rupees, which he used to pay on his uh, food and uh, drinks and to pay bribes to the officers in the check post. That has, has all gone. Now the truck reaches within seven days and expenditure which uh, driver used to claim about 20,000 rupees has come down to barely four to 5,000 rupees and that is also mainly on his food and the drinks, etc. The check posts have gone. The extortion which used to be on the check post has gone. This is great achievement of the BSP. And this signifies one nation, one tax, one market. It is economic unification of the country. After 1947's uh, political unification of the country, this is the economic unification of the country. Same rates throughout the country and the free movement of goods from one state to other. This is the great achievement. I can tell you, and you will also realize, and if somebody conducts a study on this, he, how much money we are, seeking, uh, we are saving just by ensuring free movement of goods across the country, by saving money on petrol and diesel, and thousands and lakhs of man hours are being saved. If somebody conducts a study, you will all realize that the silent revolution is taking place in the country, which will have far-reaching effects after some time, and uh, we'll reap uh, fruits of this uh, silent uh, revolution. Then there is self-regulating mechanism of invoice matching. Invoice matching is very, very important. And uh, we have not reached where we would have liked to reach because of IT glitches, and we are addressing those glitches. Invoice matching is very, very important, and it will ensure that uh, there is proper accounting of transactions, of sale and uh, purchase, and uh, evasion of taxes uh, uh, is minimized, and everything is transparent and on board and it will help everyone. It will have uh, very, uh, you know, uh, it will make the life easy for the taxpayers and for the government also. We will also have less concerns. We will be less worried about tax evasion. And for the taxpayers, they'll have a sound sleep because everything is on record and it can be checked anywhere, anytime. If everything is on uh, IT platform and uh, transparent manner. Then certain benefits which we have given to the small taxpayers, like if your turn, annual turnover is less than 20 lakhs, you don't have to pay register, then you are exempt from payment of tax. If your turnover is between, uh, say, less than one crore rupees, you are entitled to have uh, the benefit of composition scheme, and you have to pay only 1% uh, tax on your uh, total uh, turnover. You don't have to pay uh, you, know, you don't have to issue invoices, tax invoices, and pay tax on every transaction. All exports have been made zero rated. So we have ensured that the taxes will not be exported. We have also ensured that 90% of the different claims will be paid within one week. And we are monitoring it very closely. We are also aware there were concerns about the refund. Uh, refund, as you know, of two types, IGST refund and ITC refunds, and there were uh, pendency, huge pendencies. Uh, my chairman also just uh, briefed that uh, we had uh, two special programs in which large number of uh, refund claims which are pending have been uh, now sanctioned. ITC, I'm aware, all ITC claims throughout the country pending, uh, which had been filed up to 30th of April, have been sanctioned. IGST also, uh, most of the claims have been sanctioned, but still there are some old claims which are still pending because of the IT uh, problems. Because uh, initially we have noticed that uh, taxpayers were uh, uh, not properly filing the refund claims. I mean, even if there's small mistakes, the IT network, GSTN, will not be able to push the refund claim to the 
customs authorities were sanctioned. So there, there were mismatches, several mismatches. We have identified those mismatches. We have advised and we have sensitized the exporters also and we have uh, seen then in last three, four months, uh, uh, exporters are wiser and uh, the mistakes committed by them earlier are less in number and uh, if there is no mistake in the refund claim in the shipping bill in your GSTR 3B and GSTR 1, if there are no mistakes, the matching is done automatically and the refunds are sanctioned. So the uh, compliance has improved and the sanction, the you know, speed of uh, sanction of refund is automatic in IGST and that has increased and that has improved. And in future, uh, I can assure you that uh, uh, whatever the past refund claims which are still pending, we are attending to them. We, are, we have identified the uh, problems and we are trying to find uh, ways and means how these refund claims which are stuck in the uh, network can be pushed to the customs authorities and they can be sanctioned. IGST refund, uh, this is the position. In ITC, we don't have much problem, but we are trying to streamline that also and we are trying to make it online so that human interference and interaction uh, with the officers is minimized and you don't have to go to the officers uh, to claim your refund. It's automatically sanctioned and amount comes to your uh, accounts. The composition scheme, which is now available to the taxpayers who have their uh, turnover up to one crore, is there is a proposal to increase the tax, uh, this uh, limit to 1.5 crore, but final decision will be taken after law is amended in the parliament. And GST Council has taken a conscious decision, but uh, after the law is uh, approved by the parliament, it will come into effect. Then, uh, what are the advantages to the consumers? Uh, it is written here in my notes that with the overall reduction in number of taxes, elimination of cascading effects, seamless flow of credit and utilization of credit between center and state, the overall price of goods and services in certain sectors has shown decrease. I mean, we can, we can debate this point whether the prices have come down or not because it's out in the open. Even if we claim that prices have come down and if they have not come down, so it's a factual thing. But our experience is in some of the sectors, price have really come down and people are by and large happy but I must also admit that initially some unscrupulous people you know they tried to take advantage of uh, this confusion and uh, prices were increased also in certain sectors some of the dealers were charging uh, GST on MRP which is not correct and uh, some of the cases are there where uh, pri uh, you know, rates had come down from earlier uh, incidents of taxation, but the prices were not reduced. But that was initial hitch and it was not a, on a big scale, but there were some stray cases. There were some big cases also which have been taken up by our anti-profiteering authority. Our uh, officers are investigating those cases. If some uh, taxpayers have taken undue advantage of the situation and the profiteer uh, by not reducing the taxes, which uh, they should have done. So those cases are few in number, not large number of cases. And uh, we are picking up those cases and we'll take them to logical conclusion. And if they have made undue advantage and uh, of the situation and uh, profiteering has been done, we'll recover that money from them also. Uh, rate fixation. Now there were concerns about the fixation of rates. It was very contentious issue. How the rates are fixed in GST regime? You know there are five steps, 28, 18, 12, 5, and 0, largely. Rates have been fixed by the fitment committee. We, are, uh, we all know perhaps, and even if somebody is not aware, I can tell you, uh, there is a fitment committee comprising officers of the CBIC and officers of the state government. The incidence of taxation which was available in the pre-GST regime is taken into consideration. The empirical data about every commodity is taken into consideration. There is a weighted average formula which is imposed. What were the uh, rate of taxation and what was the incidence of taxation in central excise, service tax, VAT? What were all the taxes which were imposed in different categories of goods? Total number of goods I believe are more than 1,200. Each commodity was examined, was studied, what was the rate earlier, what was the incidence earlier, 
and we try to fix the rate close to the incidence of taxation because they are in the previous GST regime. So suppose the total number of taxes, total incidence was say 20%. So we have fixed the rate of 18%. Now what was the problem? Why there was hue and cry? The hue and cry about the rates was earlier most of the taxes in that because GST is indirect tax, earlier things like child service tax were also indirect taxes. They were not visible. Central excise duty was not visible. Service tax was not visible. What was visible was the VAT only. If a thing is product, practically is, you know, uh, manufactured, central excise duty is paid at the time of removal of goods. It comes to the market. If some service element is also there, that's also embedded in it. When the goods come to the market, you know, wholesaler, they give it to the retailers. And when retailer sells, he'll only show the amount of bat on that. So common man, layman, consumer sees only VAT. VAT was in different states different rate, 12%, 14%, 8%, or whatever. Only you'll see that thing. So there was perception that earlier the rate was 12%, now it is 18%. It has increased. Actually, it has not increased. There is not a single commodity out of these 1,200 cases where we have put the rate more than what was the incidence of taxation on that commodity in the previous regime. So it uh, took certain amount of uh, educating the consumers. We had uh, mass uh, programs, training programs, awareness programs, just to tell the consumers that the incidence of taxation in the GST has actually come down. It has not gone up in any commodity. So if somebody is charging extra or saying, ki, because they, they are well, and we have also experienced, I mean, you go to the market and you buy something and they'll increase the uh, rate. And if you ask why the rate has gone up, this is GST. I go to a market, a market to buy these candles. So one packet of candle, the shopkeeper used to give for 700 rupees. It lasts about two months or two and a half months. And uh, after GST, when I went to buy that, uh, rate was 1300. I said, why? It is GST. I said, what is GST? It is GST lag gaya, 28% GST lag gaya. I said, is to itna nahi hai. You give some uh, receipt, koi parchi, koi uh, invoice, kuch aap dete hai, kuch nahi sa, wo to nahi hai, sab GST laga hai isko. So these type of things, we all experience all these things. You go to buy shoes, smaller things, even go to buy vegetables, maybe a ration, there is a GST. But that thing is going slowly. People are more aware. We are more aware. It's not because of the GST. And if somebody is saying GST, now uh, this lady is there, uh, who has come from Bombay. She has, uh, you know, uh, come out with an app. Our officers in the CBIC have also uh, come out with app which you can download on your phone and uh, you don't have to do anything you just ask the dealer to give you advice what will you buy agar 100 rupees ka bhi aapne saman kharida you ask him to give a bill bill ke upar he'll have to mention his gstn number either you feed that gstn number or you just take a photo uska picture leke and then you put on this app the app will tell you whether this GSTN number is genuine or not. It means the person who is selling the goods, whether he's genuine or not, he is registered with the GST or not, number one. Number two, if he's registered with the GST, he has a genuine GST number, then whether he's a regular dealer, regular taxpayer, or he's a composition dealer, or he's under exempt category. If he's a, there, there may be instances that uh, he is a composition dealer. I mean, government co, he is paying only one percent on his uh, transactions, uh, lump sum transactions after month of a certain period, and he's charging you twelve percent or eighteen percent. So you'll immediately get. likha jayega. He is a composition dealer. He is not entitled to charge GST on the goods he's selling to you. It will come immediately. You don't have to go to any network or your computer or anything. You just uh, feed that number in your app. App is free. You don't have to pay for it, and it will come. He is a composition dealer, or he is an exempt 
he is not entitled to charge GST, and if he is charging the new, by the way, the, the, how can you charge? You do all these things, and even if there are instances, he will say, ki, main to charge karunga hi karunga. Aapko le, na, to le, matlab. Then we are coming out with further mechanism that you uh, lodge this complaint with our authorities. We have not yet developed, but we will shortly develop after this is a thing. And it will go to the concerned jurisdictional officer. And then there will be a visit by the officers, which will be unpleasant for him. So we are coming out with these uh, measures also, which will be ultimately helpful to the consumer. Main concern of the government is what? GST or whatever tax reform government is doing or government has done in the form of GST is to help the common people. If a common people is not getting better deal from the government and from the, you know, taxpayers, dealers and all that, what is the use of all these exercises? So if the government is bringing down taxes, the benefit should reach to the common man and will take all measures to ensure that whatever benefit the government is giving to the citizens of this country, reach to the citizens of this country, whether they are middle class, they are lower middle class, they are under the poverty line, or they are rich or whoever. So ultimately, every citizen of this country should get the fair deal, and government will ensure that. We are having, we are coming out with various measures in various stages. We are having awareness programs also. So the benefits of the GST will ultimate, ultimately started reaching to the common people. And all of you will realize that this is one of the fantastic reform which the government has undertaken in recent years. And it will benefit all of us. And uh, I have, uh, you know, uh, you all uh, know there will be more transparency and clarity on taxes paid and dividend consumer awareness will increase. We have uh, these uh, five slabs now. Government is, uh, uh, there is demand from various sectors also, and government is also thinking to reduce the number of slabs. But uh, let me caution you, uh, you know, there is demand there should be one tax, one GST rate, uh, may not be possible in country like us. We have a very diverse uh, uh, kind of people. Uh, the uh, financial condition of our people varies from very rich people to uh, common men who are just, uh, you know, uh, making ends meet. Uh, so we may not have uh, a single rate, but maybe five slabs uh, may come down to say four or three, but that will take time. And as we evolve, as the GST compliance increases, the revenue increases and we'll come out with uh, the simplification and uh, rationalization of uh, rates. The slabs may come down from five to three maybe. With a robust technology platform and all transactions to be recorded online, GST will help track and curb black money transactions. I must admit our uh, IT system is not as robust as it should have been, but it will be. Uh, we are constantly making improvements. We are uh, uh, now coming out with new uh, return. Earlier we have, uh, we had GSTR 1, GSTR 2, and GSTR 3, which we had to postpone, GSTR 2 and 3. Uh, now we are coming out with uh, new return. There'll be only one return, which the taxpayers will have to file, and we'll work on that return only. The committee, which was constitutive for the purpose, has given its report. Return has been uh, devised. It will be taken to necessary legal uh, channels, and uh, it will be introduced soon. And it will be a simplified, simplified version of the earlier uh, returns. And uh, I'm sure it will help all the taxpayers. And then, impact on price is already being seen. That's a matter of debate. Uh, which are the areas where uh, prices have come down? and what further efforts can be made by all of us jointly to ensure that the prices come down and wherever the government has given benefit uh, in the form of reduction in tax rates, that reach to the common man. So uh, government is committed to 
ensure that it is into the common man. And in that, we, we require uh, cooperation from all of you. The other day, Honorable Finance Minister made an appeal at, uh, to the press people are here. I think some of them may be there. He said, Ki, one simple thing you can do. While buying anything, just ask for the receipt. Ask for the invoice. Wherever you go, I mean, all of us are experiencing these things. Bill ke saath lena hai, fifteen percent lagega. Bill ke saath nahi lena hai, to batao aap. And everybody wants to save on that. Please don't get into all these uh, tricks. Ask him to give the invoice, pay the GST because he is also then he'll have to account for that amount, and amount will go to the money. If somebody you find that uh, is making uh, fraudulent transactions. He's ha having two type of uh, records. It comes to your notice. We will have, we'll come out with the, our uh, entire system where you can make a complaint and follow up action will be taken. I will not take much of your time because you are all aware of the GST journey. You have been part of the GST journey and I must thank you for your cooperation. And I expect in the future also with the cooperation of all of you we jointly, the government and the trade and industry and the common people will make GST a great reform, a very successful reform, and uh, will make our country flourish. Thank you.